Welcome back, dear viewers. Still with our uh, full coverage, Nile TV's full coverage of President Abdel Fattah Abdel Fattah Sisi's uh, tour uh, today, and to shed more light uh, on what took place, we are joined over the phone by Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Very good day, sir, and it's a pleasure always to have you with us here on Nile TV International in every achievement that takes place in Egypt. A very good day, sir. Very good day to you all. Okay, sir, how do you assess the importance of Tahya Master multi-purpose terminal on logistics level? We need this. We need many uh, projects like that. Of course, w one element where you can affect more uh, investment is to make their life easy, especially in the uh, manner of transport. Uh, the president himself, he was questioning those who are criticizing that we are building roads and ports. Yes, we have to build more ports, more bridges, because how you are going to bring your merchandise from abroad unless you have good ports? How you are going to export without good roads? So this is a very important point of our infrastructure. Of course, the, the, the problem here is that it doesn't create money immediately. It's not that you are producing a commodity and you sell it. No, you are serving the whole uh, process of production, whether to bring uh, raw material or to export final goods. So it, it is very important. I hope this will uh, be uh, repeated in Damietta, in Kuwait, in Port Said, because all these ports need uh, more and more uh, projects like that. Okay, sir, the multi-purpose uh, terminal will help in enabling Egypt to receive huge containers. What is the impact of this on the volume of trade from your own perspective, sir? Very important because, uh, as you well know, uh, take the example of Suez Canal. We used to name Suez Canal as uh, the, the passage for oil. Now, uh, the, the most important a customer for uh, Swiss Canal is, is the container. Now Swiss Canal is becoming the, the waterway of containers because the whole world is exporting and importing through containers. So we, we need this. And I remember that Egypt early enough, we decided to uh, take the help of Korea to establish a small factory for containers because no, nobody is sending merchandise uh, by itself like that. Now you have to start the container industry and Egypt started this years ago and I think all the time because we are uh, working according to a clan and uh, a think tank, we are going always on the right road. Sir, how do you read this achievement that took place today and its impact on the, uh, um, of course, economic uh, status of Egypt or the Egyptian economic stability um, uh, from your own uh, point of view in Moto, sir? Yes, it helps, as I said, it helps a lot our trade, our production. You need to produce, then you need raw material. You need to produce, you need to export. All these need this infrastructure of uh, transport, whether it is roadways or uh, even air traffic or uh, maritime transport, which we are doing quite fine job because after all, Egypt is a, a large uh, country facing two very big uh, seas, the Red Sea and the Mediterranean. We are a Mediterranean country and I, I think it's wise enough always to work on this uh, process. Minister of Transportation said a protocol was signed with Iraq and Jordan to establish an Arab trade line. What is the importance of this step, sir? This is another dimension, which is the, the, the uh, intra-trade intra among Arab countries, because the, the uh, intra-trade between Arabs is still not facing all our aims, neither our possibilities. So establishing new ways of roads and even communication, it's helping the trade among Arab states. And of course, if you establish a road between Egypt, Jordan, then Iraq, 
it will serve Syria, it will serve uh, Lebanon. So it is a sort of uh, a huge uh, effort in order to take in consideration the whole Arab uh, aim to make a, a larger Arab uh, market depending on what we are establishing of these tiny and small and medium-sized uh, projects. Okay, sir, as we already know that uh, globally, of course, Egypt's uh, geographical location is one of the most important uh, geographical locations um, globally. Um, the impact of such an ach amazing achievement that took place today on uh, this uh, uh, geographical uh, uh, location, sir, and um, the facilitating of uh, trade and the facilitating of containers and the facilitating, of course, of uh, um, uh, foreign exchange and exports and imports, the importance, sir, and the achievement. This is uh, something which we thank God that Egypt is in the middle of everywhere in the whole world. We are exactly in the middle of the world map. Here comes the importance of the Third Canal, as a, um, the course, most sir. important waterway in the world, and it serves the international trade. And we are benefiting from this, the, 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 uh, benefiting from the, the, the place which Egypt is occupying. Sir, the president uh, witnessed uh, the inauguration of October Dry Port and a Saloum Land Port. What is the significance of these projects? All these are uh, another arms and branches which will serve the whole plan. I, I, I want to tell our audience... Sir, do you mean that it will serve the Mediterranean and the Red Sea together or uh, the plan um, yes. as a plan as a whole? No, it will serve the plan. It will serve uh, our neighbors. It will serve everything because uh, if you look, and I, uh, I invite our audience to look to the, the place of uh, the uh, Ministry of Planning, they... they put on the plan all these details and you can see it directly and you will see how every small and single project is serving the whole plan in one point or another. So it is a whole process and uh, the details are uh, a lot and we have to know uh, the relation between every detailed small project and the whole plan of our economy. Perfect, sir. Sir, um, how do you see the importance of uh, the Mediterranean ports which will lead Egypt to be a global logistic hub? Uh, as a matter of fact, Europe is our main trade partner and they look to Egypt as a very important partner and they help us to keep this position. So it is quite wise enough in order to make our connection to Europe by all means always uh, uh, renovated and by always establishing new ways and means of communication and transport with our main trade partner. Europe is happy with this and they are helping us in order to uh, make more progress in this domain. Okay, sir, so, um, um, Ambassador uh, Gamal uh, Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, we thank you so much, uh, sir, for your informative knowledge. We thank you so much for being with us in this very, thank of you. course, uh, minute that we are making a full coverage, uh, an ITV is full coverage of um, everything that took place today uh, 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 through President Al-Fatah Sisi's inauguration and through all the achievements that took place today, which made us all Egy as Egyptians proud and uh, will always remain proud. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you very much for always being with us and for your informative knowledge, sir. Dave, you will stay with us for more coverage uh, on President Hafez Tahasisi's inaugurations and tours this morning and over the day.